Hello guys, Soft Tony here, welcome to another video lesson. First, like always, I want to thank you for watching this video tutorial and in this video lesson we're going to create this elegant and clean slideshow transition. You can use this transition in your own videos, promos, slideshows and so many more. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and turn the bell icon so you'll always get notification whenever I post a new clip. Alright, let's see what we're going to create today. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and first, like always, uh, we're going to create a new composition. Hit on this little icon or Ctrl plus N on your keyboard. And for composition name, I will rename it to Final uh, with 9020 height 1080 full HD comp for this frame rate set to 30. And dura uh, duration maybe about 20 seconds long, long but it's up to you. I will hit OK and then I will also create a new composition. Hit here or control plus and duration 5 seconds long and for composition name i will rename it media 01 hit ok and uh, as you can see i already have my media folders here and i will drag and drop random media here in our media placeholder like so and now it's time to drag and drop our media here in our final comp okay now it's time to draw a matte layer here in our finals. Make sure to unselect this media 01 and then hit Q on your keyboard or go here to a rectangle tool. Also, we will turn on this title and action safe uh, just for better seeing those boundaries of our composition. And we will draw a rectangle like this. Also, we will rename it, hit enter on your keyboard, type matte 01. And also uh, hit here on Mat01, hold control on your keyboard and double click on this pen behind tool just to center this anchor point like so. Okay, now it's time to make a few adjustments here on Mat01. Uh, you can lower it to a fit size just like Media01. Hit R for rotation and then go to maybe uh, 1 second and 15 frames like so. Hit this uh, little stopwatch to create our first keyframe and type here for Y parameter minus 90. Okay, go to around 0 frames and type here 30. Okay, now when we hit 0, we have this uh, basic animation. Uh, also click here on Mat01 and uh, hold Shift and S on your keyboard just to see this uh, scale parameter. And for uh, this uh, scale parameter, make sure to uncheck this constraint proportion and set up our first keyframe like so. Hit here 0 and then go to around here like so and type 350 for this X parameter and also 350 for this Y parameter. OK, now grab all of our keyframes and then hit F9 on your keyboard and then unselect them and just choose our rotation and go to graph editor and draw a curve like this. Uh, one important note, just do it for this rotation. So our animation should be something like this, really cool. Okay, our next step is to add a track mat for our media 01. If you can see our track mats, just hit here on uh, expand or collapse icon, li uh, little icon here and then just choose alpha mat. Now when we hit zero, we have this really cool and creative animation. Okay, uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to right click here in our media 01, go to layer styles and find here stroke. As you can see, we have also our strokes, stroke here and for the color, I will choose white color and for size, you can play around and I will do maybe around five like so okay uh, our next step is also uh, to duplicate this media 01 and mat 01 but uh, before that we will pre-compose this one right click uh, choose them and then right click pre-compose and i will rename it to media 01 plus elements and then 
just make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and also this icon to adjust comp composition duration and then hit OK. Uh, as you can see, we have our five second uh, media pl plus uh, media O1 plus element uh, composition. And here in finals, it's time to duplicate this media O1 plus elements, hit control plus D and move this second one to around here, maybe 10 or eight frames like so. And also duplicate once again and move this one to around 16 frames. Also, our next step is to add a Triton effect here in, on this uh, first media O1 plus elements. Find Triton, drag and drop onto our first media O1 plus elements. And for the mid tones, I will do this uh, dark, dark color. Hit OK. Hit Control plus C to copy this effect. Uh, paste it on this media O1 second layer, control plus V and for mid tones I will choose something like this, this uh, gray color, hit OK and now in our finals we have this really cool and creative animation. Also what we can do next is to open up this media O1 plus elements, hit S also for this media O1, go to around uh, first frame and then set uh, first keyframe for this scale parameter hit 120 and then go to around five seconds and then type here 100 now we have uh, this uh, image movement and this is looking uh, really cool in our finals okay our next step is to create a little background here in our finals right click and then choose a solid layer of course hit background and then hit OK, move it on the bottom of our comp, uh, find here ramp effect. OK, you can solo it for now. Uh, for this start of, of ramp, do something like this, end of ramp like so. And for end color, I will do maybe this uh, dark gray color, hit OK, unselect uh, this uh, solo solo layer hit control plus d or go edit and then duplicate uh, delete this ramp effect and find here cc ball action drag and drop onto our background and then also we will add another effects here in effects and preset fill effect also drag and drop on our background uh, just make sure that our fill effect is uh, first one here for this fill color we will do white color also grid spacing uh, change here in ball action 10 also ball size around 10 like so and now it's time to play around with our blending modes hit overlay and also duplicate it once again and as you can see when we solo our uh, three layers we have uh, really cool our uh, background with our dots okay now when we hit zero we have this really cool and creative animation really cool now it's time to add our final step here in our finals hit control plus t on your keyboard or go here on this little uh, horizontal type tool and i will type my random text creative I'm using just this uh, Montserrat uh, extra bold font. You can find it on fontsquirrel.com. I will align it for now to the center of our comp. And it's time to make also to make also a few adjustments here in our creative text. Go to around five seconds and open up this little triangle. Go to animate, find tracking and set up our first keyframe for tracking amount and go to around 25 like so then go to zero frames and type here zero now when we hit zero on our uh, keyboard we have an animation like so also it's time to add a map for this creative text hit on this uh, uh, upper composition media o1 plus elements control plus d move it to around here i will rename it this mat text and then just go alpha mat for this creative text and now when we hit zero we have an animation like so of course you can 
uh, also readjust this uh, text position, do more animation. As I already said, everything is up, uh, up to you according your needs, according your uh, wishes. Play around to get the result that you want. Okay, uh, one important note for the end, you can also pre-compose all of those uh, layers and then create slide 01, also slide 02 and then in the finals to create your intro, uh, your video, your, your slideshow and so on. That was everything for today's tutorial. Hope you learned something new. This is really easy to create technique. Uh, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, uh, hit that subscribe button. Take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.